Get out of a toxic work environment. It makes your personal and professional life harder. A bad place to work is more than just a job you don't like. We all have bad Mondays, hard weeks, and even months that don't go as planned. That's how a career works, it goes in cycles. But most of the time, you can get through a bad Monday, make it through a tough week, and learn something from a disappointing quarter. A toxic workplace is like having all of these problems over and over again, with no breaks. It looks like red flags on red flags. It's a boss who is passive-aggressive or co-workers who talk badly about the person you replaced. It means that there are fewer or no limits. A toxic work environment is one in which bad, hostile, or bullying behavior are part of the culture. In a toxic work environment, people are stressed, there isn't much communication, there is a lot of blaming, and people are rewarded either tacitly or overtly for being unethical, hurtful, or mean. In a bad work environment, Bosses often show favoritism by giving rewards to certain people who do whatever it takes to get results, no matter what that means for other people. Sleeplessness is a huge sign that something is wrong, especially if you go to bed tired but can't stop thinking about things that happened at work. Sleep helps you feel better. It helps our bodies heal and heal themselves. If we can't do that, we can't think, which means we can't act during the day. This inability to sleep can also be caused by our own worries. If you're staying up late and thinking, what if I'm the problem, it's probably not you. It's normal to feel excited and less excited about your job at different times. But if you're stuck in a position with no way to move up or if you don't feel like you're getting better at your job, you might want to leave. You need to be able to talk to your administrative teams or whoever is in charge of you and find out what they think you're doing well and where you could improve. Also, tell them how you see your life going forward. You want to feel heard, and you want to feel like your work is valued. For those of us who have had to switch to working from home, the line between work and the rest of our lives has become less clear. But this can be true in many situations where you feel physically stressed even when you're not working. When we think about what happens in toxic work environments, we see that they affect the people you care about most and your health, which, in the long run, affects those same people. Both your physical and mental health are at risk in a toxic work environment. Both bosses and workers should care about how good the place of work is. The signs of a toxic workplace aren't always as clear as many people think. You might think of verbal or sexual harassment right away, but it's not that simple. It's any place of work that makes you feel bad. Anything that makes you feel like you can't ask for what you need and that you're not supported. A toxic workplace can be a place where workers may feel stuck. The idea that you should be available all the time, even when you're not at work, is another not-so-obvious sign of a toxic workplace. Employers may ask you to work on the weekend or for longer hours without extra pay. These are smaller red flags that people often ignore because they think it's just the way things are at work. If your workplace is toxic, it might be time to look for a new job.